right, hey, sit down for a second. Hey guys, listen up, man. I just want to say that um, I'm really proud of how everybody conducted themselves this week. I had a great time, man. And I know a lot of you guys have been kind of wondering, you know, who the wrestler is, who the driver is, you know, this cool inspirational bus, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, I had an opportunity to talk to a few of you guys. But you guys gotta, you know, you gotta understand, man, I, I, my story is what's really important and that's why I share it all around the country. You know, I got a, uh, a national title here in an Emmy you guys can take some pictures with on the way, the rest of the way home if you want. But it wasn't always like that, man. I was in the struggle really deep for years in my life. I spent 15 years in drug addiction, you know, making really bad choices. And, you know, my story, I told you guys I got a book coming out in the fall. We've been working on it for seven years. And what the story's about is my personal story. And it's about coming from living on the streets and homelessness in pursuit of a national championship. And it's really about, you know, who the man I became in the process. That's, that's the real championship, you guys. We put a lot of weight in having, you know, these big medals and first place and, and all this hardware and these kind of things. But it's really about who you become in the process. Working hard, training, making good decisions. You know, the match, you've already won stepping on the mat. It takes a lot of courage to step on that mat and compete out there in a singlet with a bunch of fans watching. And, you know, it's just really important that you guys understand that, you know. You guys make the right choices. You can far exceed anything I've ever done, you know. I know you guys know a lot of kids out there vaping on those vaporizers and smoking weed and drinking and I'm just going to tell you that's a no-win situation guys. It's a no-win situation, you know. It's hard to, you know, you get off track just a little bit. You get going down that road just a little <laughs> bit and it's hard to get back to the straight and narrow. You know, it took me years to find the wrestling room again. It took me years and years and I never thought it ever happened to me, you know. I thought it never happened to me. You know, I had plans to go to college, and you know, I had plans to be a, a, a an athletic coach. You know, and uh, that isn't the route it, that I went. You know, I spent 15 years on the streets. I spent seven years locked up in jail and prison, all because of some of the choices that I made. And drug addiction really took my life, and it destroyed everything around me. And so I just encourage you guys to really calculate the decisions that you're making and evaluate the kids you're hanging out with. You know, is your friend encouraging you to go win a state title or whatever your goals might be, you know? <coughs> are your friends encouraging you? Are they helping you get there? You know, or are they, they dragging you down? You know, that's what you gotta look at, you know? Because it's up to you at the end of the day to make the conscious decision that you wanna be the best version of yourself, you wanna reach your goals, and you wanna succeed. And however you get there, it's gonna, you know, the choices you make are gonna determine whether you get there or not, okay? And so, you know, it's tough to be a kid right now, man. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of pressures, a lot of things pulling you aside. But, um, you know, I just want to say I'm proud of all you guys. You guys all trained, you showed up, you competed, you know. Some of you guys are going to Fargo. Some of you guys are going to other camps, man. It's important to stay engaged, man. Hang around, guys, you know, athletes and kids that are doing the right thing, all right. Um, my story was featured on ESPN. I'm going to play that documentary for you guys, all right. And this is 10 years ago, and I pursued a national title for 10 more years and competed up until 2016, okay?